Today we're painting a beautiful sunset with the airbrush. Let's ask the manager and see if he's ready to go. I think that's a yes, so let's go ahead and get started. And welcome back to another video guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Ernie and I customize just about anything from promotional products to one-off gifts. Today we're gonna do a custom canvas with the uh, company name that's from Texas. So I figured let's put a nice, beautiful Texas sunset in the background and that's what we're doing today. There's always a different way of painting a sunset. You can start from the lighter colors to the darker ones. In this case, we started off with the darker ones and worked our way down to the brighter yellow ones and this the reason for that is i wanted to get that uh that shape of that flow of how the clouds were forming and uh it seemed like the best way to do that is to utilize the blue as kind of my guide so i started using blue first and then i went ahead and started with the other colors i recently went to nashville and they have some beautiful sunsets as well and the scenery there is awesome it looks really nice and green also went to memphis and i hope one day i head over there to texas and check out the area because it also looks very very nice Well, the rough layout of the background is complete. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the text, um, which is the name of the company that this is going to. And I made it myself a little sketch. Uh, this way I kind of know roughly where uh, things are going to go as far as the background, the text. And uh, we're going to put some oil drilling uh, machines on the bottom as well. And I uh, kind of did a rough sketch there. So let's go ahead and put that right on the canvas. It almost seems like a sin to put some graffiti on top of that beautiful sunset, but hey, this needs to get done and that's the way we are designing this particular canvas. So let's go ahead and sketch out the text. It's gonna say tin cup and uh, we're gonna try to lay down uh, some simple uh, letters and then try to make them thicker and then stylize them uh, after that before we color them. And while I'm working on the text, I'm gonna give a big shout out to everybody that has been subscribing for the past month. I've been getting a lot of momentum. And uh, let me know if you guys are liking the long format uh, videos or if you guys like the shorts better. Uh, either case, I'm enjoying making all these videos and I have a lot of projects set up for this year. So thank you for everybody that has been subscribing. And if you are subscribed, I remember I'm giving out a free pair of shoes in the next couple of months. So. Uh, look around in the channel and find that video and I'll give you all the details that you need for that. And I want to ask for a huge favor for anybody that has collected any of my pieces. I want to see if you guys are able to post that online and tag me on Instagram or wherever it is you post. I want to um, showcase the work that you guys uh, have from me and I want to see where it sits. Kind of like a personal art gallery if you can showcase that to the world that'll be awesome you know it's kind of difficult to get into all these art galleries and have people come and see it but if you guys can post the picture or the art or the piece that you have from me and post it online that's even a bigger viewership for me and i can kind of get some credit and uh, hopefully find some new fans so everybody that has purchased from me before thank you so much and i want to give a big shout out to you guys as well In the world of graffiti, the crazier your letters are, 
the cooler it looks but sometimes they get too extreme and you're not able to read what it says they're not legible uh, in this case i want to make sure that all my canvases are legible i still apply some sort of uh, styling graffiti style make them look cool but i want to make sure that everybody is able to read it because that's the whole point of the particular piece and uh yeah i mean you know like you can you know make letters connect to each other and switch and wrap around from each other and uh, hug each other and just do all ki kinds of uh, crazy uh, coloring um, you know to kind of abstract the painting and uh, make it more interesting but at the end of the day if it's not legible uh, for my pieces then it's not really gonna work but uh, hopefully you know you guys are liking the style it's uh, fairly simple but it's still um, stylized enough to where it looks kind of cool All right, the main name is already done. There's a little tagline that goes on the bottom. Uh, Water Solutions is what's gonna go on that little stripe. So I wanna make sure I have that nice and balanced and equal and centered. So I went ahead and uh, just kind of marked it down on a piece of masking tape and kind of centered that on the canvas itself. And I'm using it as a guideline to know where to put each letter. So I want to have this composition nice and balanced so we have the text on the top something a tagline in the center and on the bottom we're going to have uh, oil pumps on either side uh, allowing a small space in between the two this way your eye kind of follows and you kind of feel like you're wandering into the picture there so uh, that's going to be the plan for this one and uh, of course we're going to be using some pens and uh, paints and whatever we have to make some more. Let's make it more dramatic and add some more black on the uh, background there. And uh, we're almost heading to the end, guys. Let me know what you guys think so far in the comments below. And we're done with this painting guys let's go ahead and take a look at the final results don't forget to comment and subscribe i really like to hear from you guys uh you know as far as this painting or the channel or any questions you might have about airbrushing or creating art as a career. Uh, so for now, I'm going to let you guys uh, go and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Again, I want to thank everybody that has been subscribing and uh, we're going to do something kind of cool. Hopefully when we hit 1000 subscribers, which is right around the corner. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Bye.